Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a non-alcoholic and eggless version of the Italian dessert tiramisu. Check out the description box for the full measurements and ingredient list. Begin by making a strong cup of coffee or you can also buy a cup of espresso coffee to use in the dessert. I've used 4 teaspoons of coffee and I'm going to add in 2 teaspoons of sugar. You can adjust it according to your taste but just make sure you don't make it too sweet and then give it a good mix and leave aside to cool down. Meanwhile in a separate bowl add in the double cream and just give it a quick beat just to incorporate some air. Once you've given it a quick beat it should look like this, as you can see it's not too thick. You then want to add in the mascarpone cheese. You then want to add in the caster sugar, you can adjust this according to how sweet you would like the cream cheese mixture and then just give this a quick beat just to make sure that the mascarpone cheese and double cream are mixed in really well. You should end up with a really thick mixture. You then just want to scrape down the sides of the bowl and just give it a really good mix and then leave aside. Once the coffee is cooled you want to transfer this into a flat dish and then you're also going to need another dish to assemble tiramisu in. You'll also need some sponge fingers which you can find from most supermarkets. You want to dip each finger into the cold coffee for about 3 seconds and then place them into your dish. You want to repeat this process until you have one full layer. The amount of sponge fingers you'll need will just depend on the size of the dish that you're using but the coffee will be more than enough to use if your dish is slightly larger than mine. Once you've completed the first layer you want to add on half the cream cheese mixture and then using the back of a spoon just spread this out evenly. You can press quite firmly just to make sure that you get the cream in between each of the sponge fingers and to the sides making sure that there's no air. You then want to dip the sponge fingers into the coffee again and then add a second layer on top of the cream cheese. Once you've got the second layer on you then just want to add the rest of the cream cheese mixture on top. And like before, just using the back of the spoon, just spread this out across evenly. And then what you can do is you can run the spoon under some warm water and then smooth out the top for a nice finish. You can then dust the top with cocoa powder or some chocolate. I'm using crushed up flick as it gives it a nice texture and taste with the coffee. You then want to leave this to set in the fridge for at least 3 hours before serving. If you like this recipe make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to press that bell notification so you can be the first to be notified about all my upcoming videos. You can also follow me over my official Instagram page Food Tips, where I upload all my written recipes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.